The UK has always been an, an awkward partner in, in the EU and always, has, always seen, has always had a view of itself as um, somewhat aloof from the European Union um, and from the European continent. But the Brexit case does give us some lessons for the rest of Europe because it was a car crash caused by a political party which then extended to a government, to a parliament, and that sort of dynamic could actually happen elsewhere. Maybe not necessarily on leaving the EU, but on, uh, you know, with respect to a political crisis in an individual um, country. This has been very much determined by um, a minority, um, a right-wing minority in a specific party, and the whole policy has been conducted on the basis of saving that specific party. Um, this type of logic and the collection of accidents that led to uh, a situation in which Britain might crash out of the EU um, on the 12th of April, this type of logic can happen elsewhere. So Europeans should really look at Brexit not just as a uniquely British uh, extravaganza but also as um, a democratic problem which could happen elsewhere. I think if Britain leaves, and especially if it leaves without a deal, I just don't see how the UK can hang together. Scotland and Northern Ireland are overwhelmingly pro-Remain. England is deeply divided with cities, a big division between cities and the rural areas. Um, and the, the society is so polarised that I think unrest is very likely. Uh, the EU can bounce back, possibly. Um, at the moment, one doesn't see how. Um, but we shouldn't underestimate the resilience of the institutions and um, so I think the biggest risk for the EU, it could probably contain the disintegration step that the UK is taking, but the biggest risk really is that unless it pulls itself together it will become irrelevant on the global scene. Um, I think um, political parties really need to reform themselves and reach out to far larger, broader sectors of society if they do want to change. Uh, but it, it might also be that other parties and movements will continue springing up and, um, and they, may, they may prove to be resilient. They may prove to um, address concerns of the electorate, today's concerns of the electorate, and they may prove to, to go beyond this um, ideological bankruptcy which seems to be behind uh, the crisis of the traditional um, parties. I wouldn't mourn the, the end of the traditional parties, but it is important that for there to be a healthy relationship between citizens and institutions, that there are these units that can make the connections. So you need these uh, mediators between institutions um, and societies. They don't have to be political parties, they could be movements. Um, and indeed, for instance, La République en Marche is, is a movement so far. Um, we need to see you know, the extent to which these can develop and substitute the role of political parties that political parties have played so far.